Right here I have a generic outlet or receptacle tester. What does this do and how do you use it? So what this is mainly for is testing uh, an outlet after you have installed it. So you've wired it all up, you've flipped the breaker on and you wanna check that this is working just right. So all you have to do is plug it in and there's three little spots for lights these two yellow and a red. And right now we have a yellow lit up and the middle yellow lit up with the red off. And this indicates that this is wired correctly, okay? But what if it's not wired correctly? Well, to do that, I wanna take just a step back and look at how it's wired. So there's a little refresher. This is a sampling of your standard Romex cable. It comes in multiple gauges. This is a 12 gauge because it's got this yellow sheath. And we've got three wires coming out of it. So it's a 12-2. Here we have hot, which is black, bare copper, which is ground, and then white, which is neutral. So you got these three wires that come to the receptacle. Here's my mock receptacle. Now the receptacle has brass screws on one side, silver screws on the other side, and a green screw. As you probably know, the brass screw is for your black wire or your hot wire. The silver is for your white wire or your neutral, and the green is for your bare copper or ground. And this is how your receptacle should be wired. And this will give it power coming in and power going out. And if there's a problem with your white, your ground will keep the power from just being loose in the box. But sometimes these can get mixed up, switched around. So here we have our legend for what the different things mean. So you have here on the bottom, we have the correct. This is what we wanna see. Two yellow dots and nothing in the red slot. Starting from top to bottom, I wanna go through all of them. So we have an open ground. That just basically means this ground is not connected. It's open, so there is no grounding here, which we should solve. The next is open neutral. Means the white's not connected. And that's gonna give you just one yellow. Next we have open hot. And that means the hot's not connected. Now, this also could be that there is no power coming to this receptacle, because without the hot, there would be no power. So if your receptacle's on a switch, or your breaker is tripped, there will also be no electricity. But using a receptacle tester is not adequate enough to identify whether or not there is power coming into the box behind the receptacle. Just note, there's no power coming out of the receptacle. The next two arrangements have a red. Red really indicates dangerous. This is a very hazardous situation, especially for if you plug in appliances like this. Say you have your hot and your ground reversed, okay? This is our first situation. This is really bad. Um, in addition to you having power coming in here and power coming through there, which it, there's sometimes a screw right here in the center of the plate that's connected, that's grounded to this. So you could have open power just coming out of that screw right there. The next situation is your hot and your neutral reversed. This is also a really bad situation because you may have an electric appliance and it's expecting the hot to come out of this small prong. Um, 
slot, but it comes out of this big prong, prong slot and it's running reverse through your electronics, uh, which could break something or start a fire. Okay, so what we want to make sure is that your white, black, and bare wires are all connected to their proper screws and that when you plug in your receptacle tester, you get a reading that indicates it is wired correctly.